What's up everybody? It's your girl Megan, show up fitness instructor. And today I'm going to be going over some basic heart concepts that you may see when you're taking that NASM CPT. Now with the help of our study guide and weekly Zoom calls that I instruct every Tuesday at 5 p.m., we helped over 1,700 people pass this thing. So if you want to be the next person that pass, keep on watching. But before that, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram at active act 7 e as well as that show fitness and show fitness internship. Now let's get to it. So these terms right here, you guys are going to want to make sure you know these if you're going to take that NASM CBT. Now the heart is compromised of four chambers. We have superior chambers, meaning above, which can be called your atria. We have your right atrium, left atrium. And then we have inferior chambers, meaning below, which can be called your ventricles. You have your right ventricle and left ventricle. Remember, the heart is on the left side of the body. From there, we'll talk about two specific blood vessels. Blood vessels that go away from the heart, A for away, arteries, and blood vessels that go towards the heart, which are gonna be your veins. We have a pacemaker of the heart, which is located in the right atrium. It's gonna be called your SA node or your sinoatrial node. There's gonna be a term that refers to the amount of blood that's pumped out through each heart contraction, and that's gonna be stroke volume. Next, we have RHR, which is gonna be resting heart rate. So as trainers, we're gonna uh, check our client's pulse resting heart rate at the wrist, more specifically, the radial pulse, that thumb side. Make sure we're always applying gentle pressure there. And lastly, last term, we have hypertension. Silent killer, it's going to be high blood pressure, with those numbers being 140 over 90 or greater. So make sure you guys have all these terms down. I'm going to give you guys two uh, trickier questions that you may or may not see. Uh, which part of the heart is going to receive deoxygenated blood from the body? And that's going to be your right atrium. And which part of the heart is going to deliver oxygenated blood to the rest of the body? and that's gonna be your left ventricle. So we'll break down this diagram real quick, so hopefully it helps a little bit. Um, but the right part of the heart, which is all in blue right here, is gonna be called your pulmonary side. And that's because it's lacking oxygen, high in carbon dioxide. Your right side, which is in a reddish pinkish color here, is gonna be your systemic side of the heart. And that's because it has uh, a lot of oxygen uh, lacking carbon dioxide. So the process of this, the deoxygenated blood is going to go into the right atrium. Remember, our atriums act as reservoirs. They gather blood. It's going to go to the right ventricle out. It's going to go to the lungs where that blood is going to be pumped with oxygen and it's going to come back into the left atrium to the left ventricle and out delivered to the rest of the body. So remember, deoxygenated blood is going to be received in the right atrium and oxygenated blood is going to be delivered to the rest of the body through the left ventricle. Those are uh, the main heart concepts that you're likely going to see on that NASM CBT. Now the cardiovascular system, which is compromised of the heart, is only one system of the human body system. There are 14 systems that you guys didn't know. So first one, cardiovascular, then we have the skeletal system, our bones, 206 of them. We have the nervous system, comprised of our brain, spotter, cold, nerves, all that stuff. Tells our muscles what to do. So muscles, muscular system. Then we have the respiratory system, our lungs. We have the digestive system, when we want to eat, after we eat, of course. Uh, then we have the urinary system, when we go to the bathroom, reproductive system, why all of you guys and myself are here today. We have the lymphatic system, so we have nodes, uh, tissues, organs throughout the body that are going to release those toxins whenever we get sick. We have the endocrine system, I may have said that wrong, but we have the, it's our hormone system, so it's going to have the thyroid, which I'm sure all of you guys have heard, the pituitary, pituitary gland, pituitary gland is the master gland. Then the next four you may guys, you may or may not have heard of, a little bit weird, we have our vestibular system. That's gonna be inside the ear. It senses balance. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, the three smallest bones in the body are gonna be in the ear, your malus, stapes, and incus. 
Then we have the proprioception. Nazim loves this one, phase one stabilization. So when I close my eyes, can I touch my nose? Yes, so it's my body's sense of awareness. There, we have the integumentary system. Pretty sure I butchered that word. Uh, but it contains the largest organ in the body, which is our skin. Um, and then lastly, we have the enteric system. It's a newer one. It's gonna be that gut health. So 14 systems of the body. Uh, if you guys didn't know all those, don't worry. About two years ago, if you asked me, maybe about half of them. Uh, but that's why we have an internship, why you guys should continue your learning, especially if you're trying to become a great personal, successful trainer. That's why we have locations here in San Diego, as well as Santa Monica, West Hollywood. We're out in Austin. Um, you can get that in-person experience. And if you can't commit to that two months, we do have a deal going on with a week trial. So go ahead, DM me, message me to find out more about that. But of course, if you can't make it to us, we will make it to you. We have seminars. We just came back from our seminar from New York. It was a blast. Love meeting everyone there. Um, if you guys weren't able to make any this year, stay tuned. We're gonna announce our next seminars for 2022. And of course, if you can't do uh, either of those, we do have the online version. We have over 300 Patreons right now. So we have a lot of people that are still involved on the online portion because you still need to know your anatomy, how to program, all that stuff. So last thing I have for you guys, thank you if you uh, were watching this entire time. For my show up people, I have a challenge for you. You guys know I love challenges. So the cardiovascular system, we're gonna talk about cardio. When you're designing a program for a client, where are you putting that cardio and why? Be specific. Now for my NASM students in class, I want you guys to go ahead and tell me three different cardio tests that you could perform for your client for the NASM uh, test, of course. And if you're new to this and you're trying to pass the NASM CPT, go ahead, go on your story, talk about something you learned today, tag show up fitness, uh, tag show up fitness internship, myself active, and make sure you talk about something that you learned there. If you guys do that, if you're new, you're going to gain access to our classes that I instruct every Tuesday at 5 p.m. And if you're part of the NASM group and you did this and you tagged us in your story, then you'll get an extra uh, session, study session. So make sure you do that. Make sure you tag Show Up Fitness, uh, Show Up Fitness Internship, myself, active. And of course, all you guys got to do is show up. It's your girl, Megan. 